unfortunately we run aground. Yeah. How, how does it feel to run aground? Terrible. Welcome back Salty Sailors to day 8 of 24 sailing videos. We are currently in Ecklins in the Bahamas where the marine life is just incredible. We arrived here only half an hour ago and are already in the water and Michael caught his first Bahamian lobster. So get ready for a very delicious episode. So, Michael brought us two amazing lobsters, <laughs> but lobster does not fit in our biggest pen. Ich glaube nicht, dass das zugeht. Gut, cool. also sie wo den drin drauf tun, aber halt auch über den Ding auch wieder, glaube ich, jetzt so. Ja? Also halt den Lobster. Ja, das ist nicht gut. You know what's happening, right? Oh. Oh. <lacht> they fit? They fit? What do we do with the lobster now? What's going on? Oh. <lacht> get yourself. Already. Two lobsters. We went in five minutes after I saw the first one. Then we went to a reef dive and we saw like two sharks and one tuna sort of style. And then I went back to the reef, saw a grouper, quite a big one, but I only had my <laughs> sling. So I found another lobster. And today we have lobster. <laughs> like so far, the lobster we got were always smallish. And now we have the problem that the lobster won't fit the pan. <laughs> so we need new recipes. Looking at recipe currently. Luckily we caught two lobsters. And as we only eat the fish we catch, so we don't buy fish or meat and cook it on Fortuna, um, we are always trying to make the most out of everything we catch so from the lobsters for example we eat the the meat and with the shells and the claws and whatever is uh, left we make a uh, stock so we can make some nice risotto and why did we put the lobster into the fridge oh yeah lobster first goes in the fridge so he does not feel a lot when we put it in a pan <laughs> so it slowly falls asleep Michael makes chaos.
meine erste geile Füße Ja? Ich Hunger. There's so much meat. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Just amazing. This is just a perfect start into the Bahamas. Theoretically, this video should have ended here. But unfortunately, we both fell ill and had to skip one daily sailing video, which means today you will get a double dose of sailing as we jump right into day 9. Probably the worst sailing experience we had so far. After sailing for 300 nautical miles to the berries, our arrival was less ideal than we hoped for. Welcome to our last episode. <laughs> oh jeez. Yesterday uh, we went into a nice anchorage. Or at least we thought it's nice. And we run aground. Um, we made it for today, but unfortunately we run aground. Um, just like 15 minutes ago, we managed to get out on our own again. But yeah, it was quite some for a minute, minute and a half of, of anxiety. <laughs> Not so fun. And my cloud just went in the water. So we, we drove away, we just dropped it. We got the water holding. Mike jumped into the water to see how the damage is. Hopefully there's not. Or not at all. <laughs> Captain! Yeah. How, how does it feel to run aground? Terrible. Terrible. Like on one side, we only scratch cigarettes. Luckily. So the anti fouling is a bit off, but nothing else seems damaged. Not even the rudder touch ground, so. Ah, okay. Still so terrible. Only the keel. <laughs> so, how did it happen? First, we checked the charts, and the chart showed. 5 meters, like we have 1.9 meters of draft. Chart showed it's okay. And we went in quite slowly and made our rounds. Like had to throw the anchor three times, but it did never yeah, stick very well. So we went further in the bay. Rita, we put a nice map somewhere. And uh, while we were driving our circle, Oof. Suddenly the whole boat was like booms, moving forward and then standing still. And it was like 1.8 meters or something like that on the depth sounder. And then I was already pretty scared that we are done for. Because look backwards, few 
months back in Curaçao, we saw a sailor in the bay who ran aground and he was stuck like forever. And from this guy we learned that if something like that happens, for example, you should have a secondary anchor with the dinghy, put it out, bring it somewhere, drop it, and then with the winch, winch the boat outwards. Maybe we managed to show that somehow through animations. <laughs> No, you would have to imagine that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, luckily the tide was already low, so it was slowly rising and we were able to pull out backwards. Unfortunately, we were a bit in shock, so we could not film anything, but we will show you the keel now. And there was quite some, uh... yeah, we were Crunching. plowing the field. <laughs> We were plowing the field and we had a, a nice hole in the seagrass. Like our vegan friend said. Our <laughs> vegan friend Sebastian's first response, we sent him a message. We ran aground. He said, oh, now the turtles have some seagrass to eat. Thank you, Sebastian, for your support. He's actually also one of our patrons. So. Amazing guy. <laughs> so. We left this bay. Chapels are closed. Start to the next one. Next yeah. chapter is Blue Hole. So we are currently in the Barris. We left Nassau uh, yesterday. Uh, did some provisioning there and are heading for the Blue Hole. We will anchor there for as long as we survive because there is like uh, strong north winds coming. And let's see how it is there. Welcome to Hoffman's Key. Here we will be hiding for the next few days from a very strong northern front, which will bring a lot, a lot of rain and some wind, before we finally jump into the first blue hole here in the Bahamas. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And who knows, you might even want to recommend us to one of your friends.